Here are three of the most asked questions that I get almost on a daily basis. So I expect that a video like this is probably going to help out a lot of people. And also the answer that I give to these questions are very often just exactly the same. So hope you'll enjoy it. So let's get into these three questions and their replies. First of all, a lot of people always ask, uh, I am rank... 5,000. Do you have any specific tips for me to improve? And uh, you, I, I can't. I can give you a hundred different tips. I can tell you to level faster. I can tell you to play grittier. I can tell you to take Discord and this. Like there is an entire like book that I can open with a bunch of tips that I have for Battlegrounds. And also tips are not like a attached to a rank it's not because you're rank 5000 that you need these tips they rank 7000 that you need these tips like they're not attached to how good you are at the game everyone has different play styles and most importantly everyone has different flaws if you're rank 5000 you might be stuck there because you don't level enough or because you don't take discord enough like i can't know what is holding you back so people that ask this general question of do you have any tips i am this rank no, because I don't know what tips you need. The only tip I can give you is to be more specific and look at your flaws. Be more specific because if you ask specific questions, you get specific answers that are actionable and will instantly help you improve. So uh, a question like, should I level on six gold on this hero? Then I can start, you know, reasoning with you. Okay, what does your board look like? Uh, what is in the lobby? Do you have a triple frozen? What is your matchup? Those things all play into account. And then you can start digging deeper. Should I have a triple by six gold? How do I get that triple so early? because I see other people do it and then we get to the roots of the problem so try and identify your flaws if your rank I don't care what your rank is if whatever rank you are see what you struggle with is it leveling is it keeping up with the lobby the power level do you you know get tempo down is it your late game tacking and positioning is it getting your buddy on time identify what you should work on and then ask tips for that and that is gonna get you a lot more progress is gonna help you skyrocket into higher ranks instead of just asking do you have any tips for me <laughs> This seems very basic, but this is actually the question that I get the most, I'm pretty sure. The second question kind of ties into it, but it's different. But I also see this every single time that I stream it. That is, is this rank good for this amount of time? People ask, is rank 4,000 good for playing for two weeks? Or is rank 8,000 good? I've been playing for three months. And I don't know. It depends on your definition of good. Everyone has a different view of what is good to them. Like from what rank are you a good player? To me, yeah, that's top 200. If you're on the leaderboard, you're a good player. Other people just want to be top 50%, like better than half of the people. Then you're a good player, sure. Others might say, uh, if you're in the top 25%, then you're a good player. Or if you're in the top 5%, you're good. Or just want to be better than my friend who is this rank, so then I'm good. Like, I don't know. Everyone will give a different answer to this question. So it seems kind of pointless to ask this question to someone else and their view of what is good, because a lot of streamers that you will ask will say leaderboard, probably. And if you have trouble knowing uh, what a exactly you know is top five percent top one percent here is right now in hs replay what that looks like top one percent is apparently 9200 mmr uh, top 50 percent is 5200 keep in mind that also it depends on when you ask this question because uh, if you ask this later in the season things are moving up if you ask this at the start of a season things are down like ranks constantly shift and there's always uh like differences in how much mmr you need to be at a certain level like leaderboard literally shifts like a thousand mmr in about a week when when leaderboard is released so sorry that i couldn't give you a concise answer but i can't to me you're a good player if you are in the top one percent sure so if you have 9200 mmr but you're still a good player if you're in the top 50 percent. that means you're doing something right that means you understand the fundamentals of the game you're a good player if you're top five percent that means you can position well tech well have a good end game probably i should say not maybe not everyone find your definition of good and then I guess you can slap a number on it, but don't care about your rank. That, that, I'm just gonna say, don't care about your rank. It's just a number. Uh, just have fun with the game. You'll improve over time. You will see your rank climb. Your rank should not be your goal. And a short reminder, if you do enjoy videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or just leave a like down below. It takes one second. It's very much appreciated. And right, before I rumble on, let's go into the final question that I see, you know, from time to time. And that is, what is the fastest way to improve? The lighting is a bit, you know if you right now hope you don't mind but what is the fastest way to improve what is the fastest way to climb and hit high ranks uh and there is no instant fix i'm just gonna tell you i can't just tell you a magical trick or show you a video that is instantly gonna get you you know into whatever you want it's practice like there's no in instant fix it's just playing grinding learning uh it's a long process a lot of people that are high ranks have played this game for so much just look at their stats and look at how much in-game hours they have but of course if you want to improve you know there are ways that you can faster improve than others just the fastest way to improve kind of hard to pin down because people learn in different ways it's also important to know people have different learning styles some are more 
uh, visuals, some are more doing, some people love writing more and analyzing, so figure out how you better absorb uh, information, which is the same with education, like if you go to school or however you learn something, everyone learns stuff in different ways, so try and figure out how you learn and apply that to better grounds. But what helped me the most and where I saw the most progress is watching a lot of streams and videos. So I watched a lot of different streamers, high and more, uh, but also people that are not maybe a leaderboard, just other people because they have different play styles and they might have different ideas that still help you. And by just watching their games, asking questions and taking note of what they did that I didn't do, I was able to just implement that in my games and I saw very quick growth. And videos, there's a lot of good gameplay. Uh, now, be wary, a lot of people just post Hyrule games on YouTube. I am guilty of that as well, but I do try and put informational videos out there as well. And maybe like not first places, but struggling games. So find videos that you think are valuable to watch that you are able to learn from. Look for guides. I've been trying to put out a lot of guides because I noticed those were lacking. I didn't really have that many guides to fall back on like one or two years ago. Uh, but yeah, I can just you know link you to some playlists down below that I've made or videos that I've made that I think are a very good stepping stone in to this learning process not just to like <laughs> shout out my own stuff but uh just i personally learned a lot from streams and videos so i hope that i can transfer that onto you and of course play a lot don't just watch stuff but play and that's about it this video is rather short but i still hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one